welcome to another Blender tutorial. As we can see here, we're going to upload a PNG file and then convert it into SVG using the shown website convertio.co. Now back in Blender, we're going to import the scalable vector graphic SVG. As we can see, we have to zoom in a little bit. And here we're going to rotate it on the x-axis and we can see that in the middle we have some missing vertices which we will have to replace in a moment. We just converted it to a mesh by right clicking it. Here we're going to select all the disconnected vertices by Control right clicking the mouse and then with face selection we have chosen this part and now we're going to put it into place. So we're selecting these vertices and next we're going to select both of these edges and connect them by pressing F to fill them so that we have one piece left. Here we're going to scale this on the x-axis to straighten it out a little bit. On the left also, we place the vertice to align it a bit better. Now we can choose all broken parts and we're going to convert them into a mesh, right click, then convert to mesh, and then we can join all of them together with Ctrl J. Here we can select all of it, and then extrude it a little bit.
Next we are going to open our shader editor to create the golden material. Type in E7A74C, increase the metallic value up to 1. Let me reduce also the specular to 0, roughness 0.25. Um, in the wall tab we add an environment, HDR image. And in the render tab we will also activate ambient occlusion, bloom and uh, screen space reflections. So here we're going to add the color ramp and the noise texture node and will be connected to the roughness of the principal PSDF. Here we connect them all and then we're going to play with the values, the noise and also tweak the slabs of the color ramp trying to achieve some glossiness. So here we are assigning uh, the gold material to the other logos by pressing Ctrl L and then assign material. Keep in mind that we have first we have to select first the ones without the material. Here we are just insert a keyframe on the rotation of frame one. Then we go to the last frame plus one. Type in R for rotation and then Z and 360s and press I again and insert it a keyframe on rotation. So we can see the center is not correctly, so we will have to fix it by right clicking and change the origin to geometry. Set origin, origin to geometry. Now it is working nicely and we're going to link the animation data as before with the materials, just to copy and transfer the animation to the other two logos.
that's our final result. Thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next one. Bye bye.